Hello guys, welcome back. Now, in today's video, I wanted to talk about shield defense, my progression with shield defense, what I discovered uh, by progressing through the, the critical node, right? I don't know how this is called, current frontier, I don't know. Shield defense, the, the critical one, the temporary one, is going to reset uh, in 15 days, by the way. So you do have time to get to level 40, uh, even as a free-to-play, and slowly get to this point, even without like refreshing or focusing too much. Now, I know that a lot of people are advocating now on uh, building CDs, okay? Like farming, using your stamina for CDs. I even saw Mr. Pokey video. I think uh, there is some truth, truth into that, but I would like to offer a counter argument uh, because I didn't do that until 40 including level 40 I still haven't farmed any CD I the only CDs that I'm using are CDs that came from me gambling in the Bardic Needle with the extra CDs that you get from here and there and the gold ones that I used uh, were uh, there like two or three coming from the PD of the purple CDs so my CDs I'll show you they're really, really bad. I am still using blue CDs. I'm using Energy Region uh, CD6 blue uh, on Ellen. So the fact that I am here with that kind of um, uh, CD investments should be a little bit of a proof that you do not need uh, to use your stamina too much on the CDs, even though technically it is debatable and that's why I will link that video in the description, by the way, if you want to watch it. It's a Mr. Pokey video. It just made it. I was watching it and was like, okay, yeah, true, but, right? I felt like it was kind of, kind of debatable. It wasn't necessarily like true or false. It was kind of like, eh, but. Because you need to remember that the CDs are uh, going to be hidden, like, hid behind two or three layers of RNG. You need to get the correct number, the correct set, and the correct main stat, and the correct, correct substats, right? So there's multi-layers, and using stamina at level 35 uh, to get CDs instead of uh, pre-building for your 40 plus unlocking. So now you can get characters to level 50 or 45, uh, uh, skills from seven to nine, or from seven to eight, or for six, from six to eight, depending how much you farmed, or to start pre-farming for or character that are going to eventually be way more powerful than they are now, way more meta than they are now, such as Nicole, or pre-farming for, uh, for Zuyan or Xinyi, you know, whatever you want to pre-farm, or like start making like new teams, your second team uh, up to, uh, uh, back online, uh, right? All these things, I think, I think they're really important to keep in mind, okay? So I will show you while I'm uh, talking. I will show you. This is my current progression. It's not super far. I could probably clear 4 and 5 if I had uh, good CDs. But we have 15 days and I have these characters. I have these characters on me, okay? I did 50 after, so this doesn't count. Uh, they were 48-48 for my two DPSs. My main team that I'm running in the game at the moment is Ice and Fire with Piper has Anomaly. My way of playing is I am using Ellen, Likon and Sokaku, but I will talk about Sokaku later. I know Sokaku is is starting to be not as optimal in my opinion uh, i will explain you why and then i'm using 11 and and lucy for fire and then lucy is going to catapult piper in and she's going to spin and and what i'm try what i usually try to do with this team is to build the disorder uh with the disorder of the burn now if i'm lucky and if if they're not resistant i will try to do double disorder but this is what I'm trying to do. The stats of my characters are not even that high. Ellen is 1.7. She doesn't have much crit rate and she doesn't have much crit damage. Uh, my skills are 8, 6, 7, 8, 8. I just recently got the only improvement yesterday before clearing shield defense was unlocking D. And uh, on my equipment, the only thing that I have leveled up to 50 is my signature W engine. Besides that, 
my CDs. Uh, this I replaced yesterday with uh, higher attack. I used to have a, a this one, so I only got a, a 50 increase in attack and a little bit more crit damage that I didn't have before. Uh, so that's why I um, I got it. This yellow was from the Bardic Needle. I didn't do any stages. You can see I don't have many options in the CDs either. Uh, now. Uh, I also I'm also using Shockstar just whatever for whatever reason just to get a, a bonus and then I'm using uh, a Woodpecker Electro with Energy Region Purple here six out of ten and Blue CDs crit six percent crit rate ten percent attack this is dog shit this is absolutely trash for my main DPS why because I think I I like the way I like to build my character is to uh, get my 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 materials my stamina consumption and use it to get uh, guaranteed level ups sure I know that the stamina uh, you are kind of losing stamina if you're doing it before 40% you're losing 30% stamina I think you're wasting 30% more stamina but if you go and do the uh, CDs and you happen to get fucking unlucky, now you are also wasting even more than 30%. It depends if you're lucky, then you don't. But if what if you are unlucky, right? And you don't get the CDs ever. Even if you were to dismantle them, sure, you get some some um, resources back, but it's not that much, first of all. Second of all, uh, it's not going to give you another CD. It just gives you some so materials back which doesn't is not like a self-sufficient uh, self-sufficient uh re recycle it's not it's not a recycling uh, 100 so you're going to miss you're going to eventually burn those materials that's the way i feel i don't have any math to back it up so feel free to discard whatever i'm saying because like uh the the other mr pocky video has a uh, as, as a whole document, uh, surely that's correct. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I, I feel like I would like to focus more on the uh, on uh, more deterministic ways of getting power. That said, this is my Ellen. This is my 11. 11 is a little more focused. I happen to get uh, f still from Bardic Needle. Uh, this one, I got some more main attack ones, attack 20%. Now this I broke. I broke the, the, the two set here because I wanted to have more attack, so I got a 20% here and a 20% here. I focus more on, on uh, 11 because Ellen, is uh, she has her own uh, double engine, her power is already good enough in my opinion, so I wanted to give a little more, more investment, a little bit more on, uh, on 11, so that she could more or less... Uh, kind of be on par with Ellen, not really, it's not, not even not even close, uh, but yeah, this one, level 50, the only thing that I did was this, level 50, and then the others were already here, I think I just uh, increased these two, now, what I wanted to talk about today is just the way that I have the character, not even CND, 77788, and then we have on Leekon, I have, don't even have C, I wanted to get C, but I didn't have enough stamina, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I did in increase this, uh, it was level 2, I increased it to level 7. Uh, these other things are fine, I'm not leveling these up for anytime soon, uh, for now. Uh, I don't have the materials that I want to dedicate to it. Then I have my Piper, Piper is A only. You can see the skills, equipment. She has blue CDs, level fucking 0. Uh, this one is level 30. Uh, Piper, that was Lucy, Piper has her own thing, she is, uh, it's level... Uh, like two copies, whatever. She has a little bit of anomaly build up because I wanted her to trigger the, her anomaly. So she has anomaly proficiency 232, 1.1k. She has 700 attack. I'm still, I'm just using her for uh, combo launch and for the buff. That is it, uh, basically, right? So, also a little bit of impact uh, always helps if you block. She is two out of six, and uh, Piper is two out of six as well. Those are the characters that I am using. And Sokaku is 6 out of 6. But let's talk about uh, Sokaku. I think Sokaku has too much... Sokaku has too much... Uh, field time. Sure, you are getting the, the, the defense shred, the ice shred, and you're getting uh, up to 1000 attack buff on your main if you do, it, do your core correctly. Uh, but I would argue that... At the end, what I what I happened doing, what I, what I ended up doing was uh, 
trying to not use Sokako as much as possible, like not to, she has too much field time. In, in, a, in a moment, in a, in a scenario where you are timed and you are tight on time because you don't have enough damage to trivialize the content, you not only need to play correctly, uh, parry and stuff like that, but you also have to uh, keep in mind that it's important the field time that you are taking with the characters. So for Sokaku to, to give you all these buffs, uh, she takes a little too long in my opinion i am uh, thinking about using nicole instead that's why she was level 30 because i think nicole is going to be really good uh because she gives a 40 percent shred if you get her to like d i think uh, decor and you can use her you can use her whenever you want because it's uh she has also a launch ability on e uh you can just attack once but the E is what, what it's what it's at, right? Because she it was also will also trigger on the chain attack. The E holding it is gonna launch you and it's gonna do the, the AoE uh pulling in, it's going to every hit is going to trigger that that three second 40% defense shred, and that that applies to any monster. So the higher the monster, the bigger uh the uh, debuff is the, the impact of the debuff is so i i'm gonna switch eventually to nicole whenever she's a little bit more leveled up but i could just bring her like immediately she is level 30 maybe i should just um get her to d core and then i will i will bring her i feel like shield defense is going to be uh more focused on having the right elements regarding uh, of the stages uh, rather than having like powerful units because as you saw my units are really like meh and yet I've been able to clear up until three with those units with zero CDs with those units uh, all the characters are level 40 besides the the two DPSs and Ellen is so bad it's not even funny how bad my Ellen is uh, how much, how big of improvements I could get? I could get critical damage to 100%. I could get an uh, attack to like two or 2.2k, 2.3k, uh, depending on what what stats I end up getting. So my point is, when you are going to a stage, you should check what they get, what weakness they get. This, for example, is fire and physical. This one, for example, is uh, ice and physical resistance to none. And this one is resistant to ether. So this one is going to be if you don't have fire, you can bring physical instead. This one, if you don't have uh, if you don't have physical, you can bring ice. Probably everybody has ice. Everyone probably pulled Ellen. Even if you're not pulling Ellen here, you can bring someone else that it's uh, even if it's not ice or physical, you can still bring it, like Electro, for example. You can still bring it, they're not resistant to anything, but it will take you a long time if you're not bringing the correct element, which might uh, slow you to, so hard that you can't clear, right? Uh, you are timed. Now, uh, the monsters will have, in most cases, not every time, but in most cases, they will have the shield or they will have a different type of, pa of passive for the stage. Uh, in this case, uh, we, you are debuffed until there are minions in the stage. If there are no minions in the stage, you can safely uh, attack the boss. But if you're attacking the boss without uh, taking care of the minions first, you will deal 50% less damage to the enemy, to the to the, the elite, right? To the boss. Now, uh, this means that, in my opinion, parrying is not as useful as just dodging, because when you uh, start you, when you start the encounter, you will be presented with multiple minions that you need to kill as soon as possible. Parrying the wrong or uh, parrying the boss, for example, is not good, it's not it's going not going to be a good thing. It's going to be a bad thing because you are now locked into attacking him. If you actually follow up with the with the parry and maybe you stun him and then now the the day's uh, chain action uh, starts, it's not as good as just no nope, don't parry, dodge, get rid of the minions and then now that you're just fighting the boss and you have to fight the boss and you're not dealing 50 per, minus 50 percent damage, now you can fight him. That's what I uh, that's what I did. That's why in my uh, level 3 clear i haven't I didn't parry that much some people in my chat were like wondering what the fuck are you doing why are you not parrying that is why i, I felt like it was probably going to be more efficient and that's what this is when i started doing it more uh, more seriously and this unironically took me like way less than this took me like one minute less than this stage now on on my team here i am a little scuffed 
uh, Soldier 11 is good and all, but I still need like powerful um, burn applicators. 11 is just not as good uh, in applying burn, and Piper isn't either. No Piper, uh, Lucy isn't either. So I feel like I need someone that is more in more impactful. Uh, like for example, that that Kalidon chick with double flamethrowers. Uh, I would probably pull for that one. Whoever is anomaly fire, I will pull for because I do want a anomaly fire or a stun fire. Maybe we just we just abandon it. But I do like the disorder, so I will do that. So for these stages, if they do that, you need to get rid of the minions first. So all the time wasted in doing so kaku stuff in my opinion was actually wasted i would rather have nicole there instead of sokaku because she can um, launch your main dps and also is important where your characters are for example here you can see i put 11 after pi after lucy because lucy has the launch and it's going to launch whoever is next so if she is position one she's going to launch launch position two if she is position two she's going to launch position three so wh whoever is after her sh that's who she's going to launch that also applies with nicole so if you want to launch 11 uh, you need to put lucy at one and 11 at two or if you want to launch ellen you need to pull nicole call uh in front of ellen right or if you want to launch launch lika on for for days and uh, now you need to put uh, ellen and nicole on on uh, position two and, and lika on in position three so that is the uh things that i've uh, that i've learned do, during this i cleared yesterday on stream you are probably watching the the, the video as i'm speaking uh, so other stages they're probably stage two and stage three do the same thing they ask you to clear the minions first and some of them were really close in terms of time but considering that i have played with with uh, against enemies that are not weak to my element uh this was still a, a success in my opinion but uh, for the stage a this they start doing this minion thing they start doing it at, at level um at stage a they also do their shield just daze them if you have a stunner or in case it doesn't work it, you need to have the correct element for shield 10 i just clutched it i just played better and the the reason why i cleared this was because i switched ice with uh, the ice team with the fire team and the 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 fire team with the ice team to fight friday because i needed the more dps and more dps was coming from my main team ice and then i left the second team on on the uh, the ice one so even though the ice was was supposed to hit it with ellen i didn't have a powerful team for friday so that's what happened what ended up happening so that said uh i feel overall these are some tips that, that can help you if you have, uh, uh, if you are trying to farm some from CDs, feel free to do that. But in, as you're seeing, I didn't clear this with any CDs. So, and my Ellen is, is Cinema Zero. I only have her weapon. That's it. I just wanted to give you a heads up on what happened. Uh, you probably you probably watched the the gameplay was as I was speaking as well. So, if you have any other question, have any other. Uh, counter argument feel free to tell me in the comments sorry for the long video again and see you guys next time feel free to like like subscribe and follow me on twitch.tv forward slash jagazin for more videos and more streams